items are polymer plate making systems. The first one will be the PSE A4 plate maker and the second plate maker will be the same version but as a vacuum. If you're making a polymer plate the first thing you need to do is do your artwork but this time we print it on what we call vellum paper. Once you've got the artwork you can then look at making a polymer plate. When we make a polymer plate there are certain items that we need and let's have a look at what those items are. Develop a tray with tongs, fix a tray with tongs and a tray for water. You'll also need a pair of scissors, a washout brush, the developer and fixer as well, a measuring cylinder, a Stanley knife or any sharp blade, some tissue or kitchen roll, and you'll need a polymer plate which we're going to keep in its black bag for the moment and you're also going to need some negative film. Again, it's light sensitive so make sure you keep it in the black bag until such time as you actually need it. Let's have a look at how we make the polymer plate. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our developer and our fixer into their various trays. At the moment, and there we go, there's our developer. We're going to do exactly the same now with our fixer. Never mix your We've printed our artwork on our computers and what we do is we put the artwork onto your plate making system. What we then do is we take our negative film. The negative film is light sensitive so keep it in the black bag until you actually need to use it. Take your negative film out and you need to cut out a piece of negative film that will be bigger than your polymer plate. Do this as quickly as you can and don't do it next to a window on a bright hot sunny day. Otherwise the UV light will affect the negative film. Two sides of the negative film, one is paler in colour and one is slightly darker. We put the paler side face up on the machine. Close your lid down and the first exposure we need to do is for just 30 seconds. On this side, switch the mains off. And now we can take our negative out of the machine. It is still light sensitive, so you still must be careful how you use it. You don't need a dark room, but as I say, keep it away from large windows, especially on a hot sunny day. Let's take our negative out and go over to our washout trays. The first tray we're going to put it into is our developer. And we put it into our developer so it's fully immersed. Use your tongs to get it fully immersed in your container. And very quickly, you'll see the solution turn the negative black. Keep it in there for about 20 seconds or so. Okay. After 20 seconds in there, take it out and we put it straight into the water. You can use a hot tap at this stage, but a tray of water is uh, just as good. Again, 20 seconds or so in there. Now we use our other set of tongs because we don't want to contaminate our fixer. And we'll take that out and put it into our fixer. And although we've got an image there at the moment, it's not clear, it's not completely transparent. And we'll keep it in there until we see the image become transparent and it's starting to do that about now. That's a nice negative we've done there. And now what we need to do is dry it using a hairdryer. First of all though, we're going to give it one final wash. And now we dry it with a hairdryer. The drying can be done with a normal everyday hairdryer. Put it onto a high temperature setting. And there you have one negative ready to go on the machine. Just a point about drawing is take our polymer plate, which is still in the black plastic bag. Our polymer plate has got a clear plastic strip on it. Peel off that plastic strip. Take your negative and the reading side must be facing upwards. So you must be able to read it as normal. On here it says the Vanden Plum. Take your polymer plate 
and lay it over the top of your artwork as centrally as you We put that in there like so and we clamp the system down. And we repeat the process that we've just done, except do an exposure for about between, normally between six minutes and ten minutes, depending on the job that we do. A job like this will require an exposure of about seven minutes. And the black areas of the negative prevent light getting through. The areas behind the black areas of the negative will remain soft. Where light can get through, the polymer gets hardened up. The soft areas will then easily be scrubbed away. Okay, the exposure is finished now, so we end off. And we now should be able to take our plate out. That's always a good sign when the negative is stuck to the polymer plate. And if we peel that off, maybe the camera can pick up. There is an image there, but it's not in relief. Basically, this design has been superimposed on here. Now what we need to do is wash the plate to wash away the excess, leaving our design with the plate. And to do that, we need to use a water and a sink. Wet your polymer plate, wet your washout pad. Hold the polymer plate in the flat of your hand and very gently let the bristles of the pad do the work. Don't force it down onto the polymer plate. Just go round and round in circles, nice and gently. Keep dipping it underneath the water, but don't keep it constantly under the water. And very gradually, you'll see the image almost magically lift itself from the polymer plate. And there we have one polymer plate. The washing of the polymer plate should take no more than two or three minutes. The danger is over washing the plate. Plate's wet there, so what we need to do, the next thing we need to do is dry the polymer plate thoroughly. I cannot emphasize this point, uh, okay? So there we have our polymer plate, very nearly finished. This exposure that we're about to do is the most important. This is what we call a post exposure. And it's this exposure that is giving the plate its durability, its hardness. The first exposure, the first exposure tray is pulled out and you put the polymer plate inside. Now, do is we need to do an exposure really for as long as you want, normally for about 10 minutes or so. For the next six or so minutes now, what's happening is our plate is getting the full force of the ultraviolet light and really making it a good hard wearing uh, plate. Once we've done that, the plate is then ready to go onto the hot foil printer. Now, Everything I've shown. Okay, we've finished our post exposure now, so we can switch the machine off and we can take our polymer plate out. And there you have one polymer plate finished and ready to go on the machine. 